Hello there and welcome to the Star Wars Showcase YouTube channel. Today's review was dedicated to the Star Wars Black Series Obi-Wan Kenobi Jedi Legend variant, which is a Walmart exclusive. Let's take a look. Now, if I recall correctly, this is our fourth release of Obi-Wan that we have gotten from the Kenobi miniseries on Disney+, and this particular variant, the Jedi Legend one, is reusing many of the parts and pieces from our Jabim release, where he has kind of those gray robes. However, I passed on that particular release as I was much more anticipating this one. I'm a much bigger fan of that appearance we get at the very end of the show, as well as these white robes and some of the extra accessories that we get. Now, the first of those accessories to take a look at is the goggles I've got displayed up here on his forehead. Uh, in many of the pictures for the figure, those goggles are worn around the neck, but I kind of uh, prefer this particular uh, appearance here. Uh, also included with our Kenobi figure is this soft goods cloak, and the sleeveless cloak look is not my favorite. I think it works okay for this figure, considering, you know, the, the desert and, and warmer environment. But I wish for the show as well as for the figure that we had that more traditional Jedi cloak. Uh, once that cloak is off, we do have a very solid Obi-Wan figure underneath, and he's not quite a direct translation to that Revenge of the Sith look, which I know a lot of people are still looking for that very definitive release here, but I still think this is a very solid figure for the appearance that we see in Kenobi. Of note here is the single jointed articulation that we have on both the elbows and the knees, uh, as well as a trigger finger on his right hand. I don't know why our Jedi characters always seem to get that, but he has one trigger finger and one hand without that, which will probably be the one that you put your lightsabers in. Now, one criticism I have of many of our soft good accessories in the Black Series is the fact that hoods just end up looking a little bit wonky. It's hard to get the cloth and the fabric to sit very naturally. They always feel like they're very big or they're kind of puffy in the back. I sometimes like to kind of try to scrunch mine up in the back so it's almost like there isn't even a hood, but you'll just have to find what you feel is the best format is. I think the hood looks nice for a desert sort of look, but again, it kind of gives them that kind of bulbous looking head underneath it all. So to revisit our accessories again, in addition to our base figure, we have those goggles that he comes with. There's a nice kind of transparent or translucent uh, red plastic that he comes with. I think that's really solid for either this figure or any other character you might want to use that accessory for. Uh, we, of course, also get Kenobi's lightsaber, which does have this black coloring at the top as opposed to the usual silver. I'd actually need to revisit some of the source material to see if that changes over time, if it's meant to look more weathered. Um, but the lightsaber itself is still very solid. Uh, we also get this little T-16 Skyhopper accessory that he hands off to Luke and that Luke, of course, plays with in A New Hope. Uh, I love little throw-ins like this. It reminds me very much of, like, a Micro Machine, and the little uh, base with the little kind of pointy parts at the very bottom can fit in his hand or kind of function as a stand if you were using that accessory. So, all in all, I think this is a very solid figure. I think if you have to choose between all of your Kenobis, that this is the one I would get. It's my most preferred appearance, uh, but let me know down in the comments below if you like the Wandering Jedi or Tebadon Station or the Jabim appearance or this one, as there are certainly lots of options, and I'd be intrigued to hear what everyone else is going with for their collection. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are a fan of this, please make sure to check out some of our other playlists as we have other reviews of our Star Wars Black Series figures, as well as tips and tricks for making action figures of your own.